On today's episode of Three or Four or Wifey, we're going to be doing one of the biggest people we've ever talked about, one of the flagship hoes of the sector. We're talking about Olivia Dune. We're talking about somebody who's an LSU gymnast, somebody who's been ogled by many contemporaries of mine, somebody who I've not looked into. Today, we're going to ascertain, is this girl worth wifing up hypothetically? If we were a guy in her like vicinity that she was attracted to, would we give her commitment or would we pump it and dump it into the street? Or, or are we going to do the third option, which is completely blow her off and let her suck on our ankle and just let that be? We're going to actually break it down. For the foreground, right now, she's she's on the Full Send podcast. She's put on like different shows. So apparently she has talents as well, like she's a gymnast, and that might be appealing. And I have a friend, a YouTuber friend, that's telling me that she's overrated, that there's other girls like Brecky Hill who are her contemporaries who are hotter, and we're going to break it down. Are we going to rate her out of 10? Are we going to get the real truth? Are we going to see what sort of whole behavior she's up to? Is she worth commitment, like I said? A lot of e-girls just – for the virtue of them being on the internet, are not really worth talking to. But some are, and there are some exceptions here. And so we're going to see, is she the exception? She has 4.3 followers on Instagram. Let's really break down her worth. So let's pull up the Carfax. I went down 500 posts, 500 different pictures on her Instagram with 4.3 million followers to see how old the account is. Right now, we're looking at an account that is this was when she was 14, maybe. I don't know. So we're going to keep going. Obviously, she has her ballerina picks. That doesn't really matter to me. So let's go ahead and just scroll up. I had to see the bottom to see like what was going on here. So she's a gymnast for life. So she's not a gymnast because, oh, that's going to get more views. She just genuinely was like that, you know, as a child. So I guess that's good for her, right? Nothing wrong with being a gymnast. Dog picks. Picks with her girlfriends, I guess. This is like her when she was like 10, so let's just keep going up. Now, it is a little weird how early on in life she was on her social media. Like these are pictures I would expect on her mom's Facebook, but um, evidently she was posting them like herself. So that's a little bit weird because she's like 12 in this. But now look at this. This is interesting. She's verbally committed to LSU on a full athletic scholarship. This was 2017. So she was born, I think, October or something of 2002. So she was 15 at this point. Um, so interesting. Okay. So again, this LSU thing isn't a grift. She was straight up like wanting to be in that her whole life, which is odd. Um, so let's keep going. And right now you're looking at somebody who's pretty wholesome so far. This is the first non-athletic pick I've seen. Okay. Normal. This is like when she was 15, whatever Christmas pick. Okay. Is this really slutty? Eh, a little bit. I don't care. Let's overlook that. A normal picture. What sort of comes is she getting black hearts, cutie. You're so pretty. Again, this is wholesome. I'm not going to hate. Um, again, another wholesome picture. Fully clothed, kind of conservative, right? Anyway, let's keep going. And again, you might say like, "Oh, she's half naked in the gym, like the gymnastic pictures." But truth is, is that that's like how they like it's like a wrestler outfit. So I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that. So I'm not gonna hold it against her. She's like half naked in her gym stuff. All right. So yeah, no. So obviously, just normal stuff. We're not hating on her yet. Um, she's in Italy. Whatever. That's probably with her parents. Uh, okay. Now this is a little risque. This is a little sus. So she's doing photo shoots. Interesting. Interesting photo shoots. Okay. Why is that interesting? Well, I mean, she's clearly being ogled at by adults at this point, which is a little concerning because she's like 17 here. No, wait. A bikini picture. Again, not that bad given the circumstance. Now, interesting. Somebody's saying that Joe Burrow liked this picture. So um, if you know anything, this girl was 15 at the time. Joe Burrow, five years ago, would be 19. So... No, wait, wait, wait. Joe Burrow was born December of, of 1996. That means that he would have been 21 years old when he liked a picture of a 15-year-old Olivia Dune. Anyway, I don't think that's a big deal, actually, but um, just fun to point out. Also, this guy, friendly reminder, she was 15, but apparently Joe Burrow liked this according to this random guy. Interesting. Um, he's lucky that nobody's been reporting on this, that he liked the picture of a 15-year-old when he was 20. Um, okay. I guess this is a, this is her boyfriend, okay. So, so far, so good. Obviously, Joe Burrow caught lacking, by the way. A little suspect. Let's probably do a little febophilia on his part. Uh, a little weird, but um, let's keep going. Again, okay, now this is a little, this is a little bad. This is a little bad right here. This is, come on, like, you're 16. Why are you posting this, girl? Again, with her, like, half of her ass cheek showing. Please, come on. So, again, not cool. Um, <clears throat> not the worst content, though. I've seen worse from girls, like, in high school, so... Back when I was in school, I mean, this is not too uncommon for a white girl to post. Okay, now this, this is bad right here. This is a thought pose. Girls started doing this in the seventh grade where it's like them with a facade in the back. 
and with their asses out. Not cool. This is definitely slutty. You know what? In fact, this is worse than her in a bikini because her in a bikini, like this is a normal pose. This is candid or whatever. This, on the other hand, you want your butt to look big. This is sus with heels on. Not cool. Very slutty. Let's keep going. What's this about? Thank you for your birthday wishes. Okay, she was born October 1st. She's she's older than me by like a year. Um, signing to LSU and while she was still in high school. Okay, whatever. Again, this is a little slutty as well. The setting cannot be good for your daughter to be in. Let's go on. Again, most people that are in her position would do the same thing. So she's not like that whorish like for her standard, but like compared to like some trad girl at church, definitely not making the cut so far. Okay, let's keep going. What's this? She's at the beach. Nothing too bad. Okay. Let's keep going. She's surfing. Okay. Wholesome. Wholesome. This. These sort of like candid pics in the car. That's symptomatic of like a bad girl thing. She has her pretty boy boyfriend. Okay. Nothing wrong so far. What I find interesting is that she doesn't delete those pics. Most girls would delete that. Interesting. Her picture has an LSU. Okay. That's fine. So she has her tiger pic. She has her own like dressing room or whatever at at 17 years old. So that plays into her ego, obviously. So that's a problem. You don't want a girl with a big ego, even if she is hot, which evidently, I mean, she gets a lot of attention in these comments, even prior to like her superstardom as, an, as a starlet, I suppose. Let's look at this. She has 4 million TikTok followers as of two years ago, guys. 152 million likes. That is fucking insane, guys. All that attention. Imagine as a guy competing with that. It's going to be virtually impossible to do. Interesting. Let's keep going. She takes her pick with Joe Burrow. Again, when she's an adult here. But think about it. He was liking her picks in bikinis four years before this. When She's 18 here, so a little weird. Again, I'm not the one to be like, oh, he's a pedo. But it's like, okay, like I'm kind of surprised he would do that. I wouldn't be liking a girl's pick if I were 21 and she's 15. I personally wouldn't, especially if she's not related to me. It's like, why am I even on her page? Interesting, Joe. Anyway, um, okay, nothing too crazy. This one, this is a problem right here. This is a problem. This is a problem. Again, guys, notice these pictures of her in a bikini are less slutty than these with booty shorts. Believe it or not. Like she's more likely to get railed after that night in the club than than this pick, like in uh, in like the Outer Banks or whatever Jersey Shore. This is a horrible picture. This is extremely slutty right here. This is tantamount to like you can imagine somebody like Drake groping her in the back of that um um very nice car. Not cool. So guys, I want you to notice the difference between fully clothed but slutty and like half naked but like normal. Big distinction there. This one, again, posing her little butt up there, okay? This one, no big deal here, whatever. This one, okay, whatever. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. This one, extremely slutty, but like the underwear, like barely covering anything, leaves very little to the imagination. This one, clearly pushing up her boobs. Clearly, it's very degenerate, I disavow it. Santa's favorite again very disgusting and it's almost a blasphemous like oh I'm invoking Santa these are good vibes like no you're you're really you're very very nasty um nasty like in a moral way obviously I would still in a heartbeat do it but um yeah let's keep going this one this sort of lighting it's like um blacked sort of uh, like pornography lighting this one in the chair why would she ever take a picture by a chair like that? Again, trying to accentuate her hips. Again, her body, like her figure, is utterly fantastic to look at. But then again, everybody else is looking at it. So you cannot feel special with that. So that's that's horror behavior. Ideally, this girl would be only being ogled at by one guy. But in fact, she's getting ogled by tens of millions. Too bad, huh? Anyway. Also, look at this fucking idiot in her chat. Will Pisani says... A 7 out of 10, but I'd give you a chance to be honest. Yeah, shut the fuck up as if you would ever have a chance, you fucking dork. Don't reverse simp in her comments, guys. What the hell is wrong with you? This one. Again, roses. So it's traditional. It's romantic. I, I'm in love with this girl. And then over here with the push-up bra or whatever that's, you know, whatever's going on. That sucks. Very slutty. Then look at this random person. L L Liam Gigmig or whatever says, I do love you, baby. Like, dude, she does not know who you are, bro idiot 
dork. Let's keep going. The okay, this says I came back for a bagel at New York. And then she's showing her cleavage. Again, very disgusting, insulting of my intelligence. Just don't put a caption if you want to look like a bitch. What about this? I'm trying to show her pog, her fat white ass. Okay. Very attention seeking. Another car pick. Very slutty. Because what is a guy thinking about? What is a guy thinking of when he looks at that picture? He's trying to think of like, where am I going to put my legs in between her thighs? That's what everybody's thinking with the pulse. Okay. Not going to be very Christian behavior right there. So evidently not looking so hot. Now, my YouTuber friend says that she's visually overrated. I think she's absolutely stunning, okay? That does not distract from the fact that she is ran through, I'm imagining. Even if she is a virgin, which probably isn't true, it's like, dude, really? Like, come on, babe. Who? What normal girl would you marry that has, like, this very intricate bikini? Like, I've never even known of these even existing. What the hell am I even looking at? It looks like a life harness halfway with, like, a xenomorph, like, protective bio suit. I don't know what I'm looking at. What the fuck am I looking at? Um, okay. Swimsuit modeling. All right. What's this most recent thing? Picture with Mike Tyson. No big deal. All right. What's this? She's getting sponsored. Whatever. So that is going to be the update. Let's see what she posts on her story just to get an idea as to what it is. Okay. It's not loading. Anyway, so that's that. We're going to cancel that out. We're looking at her Instagram and we're going to see what her track record is as a human being. And we're going to see if she's worth giving commitment to. What I find odd is that they show a picture of her as a kid. I don't know why they felt the need to do that. Obviously, there's better pics. Um, okay. So, I mean, she's been doing all sorts of things. That's fine. She goes to LSU. Okay. Social media fame. All right. She starts doing stuff three years ago when she's underage, I think. Okay. Um, so, she was 17 at that point. She has all these medals, SEC, whatever. Okay, fine. Now, let's watch a little bit of her personality on the Nelk podcast, and we can kind of see, like, is she, like, really a talented orator? Is she anything, or is she just a body? Let's see. Changed ever since they allowed, like, college athletes to make money. Oh, my gosh, yeah. How, like, was it the year that you got into college that that changed? So, my freshman year, the rule hadn't changed yet, and it was kind of, it was in the talks. I mean, I didn't, I, I mean, you can just tell she looks but, way worse in this um, podcast. She has, like, a little bit of, like, a gullet, a little bit of, like, a double chin. So, I, I mean, life, guys. Was on her Instagram, enough? she looks like a 9 or a 10 out of 10, spotless, beautiful, small waist, flat stomach, big tits, big ass for a white girl that is. Beautiful, like 5 foot 6, 110 pound, beautiful girl. Here, she looks like any girl you'd see in a college dorm. Or, I mean, like, you know, you're at your biology class, you know, six rows away, there's a cute girl that's like a 7 out of 10. You look at her, she's wearing a hoodie and an LSU hat. So whatever, will I go up to her? No. Is she that special? No. I mean, this is what you're working with, guys. So don't let the Instagram overhype you. Don't build your machination in your head of a girl that's this like utterly amazing chick because evidently that Instagram makes her look way better than she does in real life. So like right here in this podcast, she looks like my looks match. But if you look at the accounts with millions of followers, millions of likes, she obviously blows a guy like me out of the water. She's a beautiful girl on Instagram. Here she's decent. But that's it, guys. So don't get catfished. Do not simp for girls like this. She's obviously a hoe. What girl, what trad wife would you ever see on the Nelk podcast anyways, guys? Let's imagine that. And let's look at her accent real quick. Without being bothered. I, I, don't go to, I don't go to class. I do all online. But I feel like at LSU, it's kind of like the people always see me around anyways. So it's not like. She has a southern accent a little bit. She says nothing of substance in this podcast. And even then, it still has 1.3 million views. She doesn't deserve that attention. And she's overrated. Just because if you look at her in real life, she's not that sexy. Like she looks like a basic white chick. Like, and, and dude, I cannot tell you how many hundreds of white girls I've seen that look almost exactly like Olivia Dune in person. Now, granted on her Instagram, she is a fucking smoking, like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl, like nine out of 10 supermodel. Amazing. But on this really, like she looks like she could be dating me at this point. It's not really looking so hot for Libby in person. Um, or at least like on podcast form. Let's look at her Instagram to see a little bit. Last, and we have one award to go. Best team. I know I'm pulling for my Tigers. We'll be right back. Okay, nothing of substance. Let's see what her Twitter says so that we can get a better idea as to what her character is like. Nothing important. Nothing important. Nothing of substance. Nothing of substance. Nothing of substance. Just gymnast stuff. Nothing too important. Yeah. So let me just give you the full screen and give you a good rundown as to what's going on here. So let me give you that full screen attention that you guys deserve. And we're going to really break down what's going on with this chick. Okay. 
the breakdown with Olivia Dune is that is she a three or four or is she a wifey? She's definitely a three or four. She, for one, is two to three points higher in attractiveness on her like professional photo shoots than she is in real life in person on a podcast. And that was with makeup on on the podcast. And so realistically speaking, she's not that attractive. Um, you know, if I saw her, if I saw her at ASU, if I saw her like in a normal college at a party school, she's really like a seven out of 10. Like realistically, if we're both drunk, I could hit it. And so that's the truth. She looks like my looks match as in like, we look pretty similar in attractiveness. Like if you were to just do the candid pictures and that's not really looking so hot because on Instagram, again, a lot of people build up this delusion in their head that millions of people will all of a sudden, you know, stroke the chicken and choke the meat and beat the meat. So a really like goddess looking bitch. But now all of a sudden, when you look at her in the candid IRL podcast format, she's not that special. And so that's the truth. And so for one, she's not that attractive as purported by your social media. And for two, she doesn't really have any talent that really makes her special aside that she does gymnastics, which is neat and all, but like, what, what, what are you going to do gymnastics when you're 40? Like, do I really honestly care if you can do like a twirl or a cartwheel? I mean, like, what, what does that do for me? And yeah, that's a feminine hobby. Like I get that. I don't blame her. Like that's, that's cute. But do I really care either way? No. So, I mean, and also we learned today, apparently, allegedly, that Joe Burrow liked her picture at 21 when he when she was 15. Do it that way you will, Bengals haters, because that's that's kind of weird that he did that. Um, assuming that's true, I mean, there's no way for me to know. Just some random commenter said that, so I'll take him at his word for it. No big deal either way. I think Libby's a cute girl. Um, if I had the chance to, I would date her for a couple months, and then, I mean, it would obviously break down because she's like really famous, and I'd be like a leech at that point. Um, and she's out of my league anyway, because like a girl's going to go off of her Instagram attractiveness and how not how she looks like when she's waking up at your dorm at four in the morning. So just keep that in mind, guys. So the verdict, final verdict is that she's a three or four. So throw her to the street, pump and dump. If you get the chance, I wouldn't personally date her long term because I mean, she's ran through and these hoes ain't loyal.